Hey brothers and sisters, this is Elizabeth Marie with Latter Rain 333. I come to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and I do this video for His glory alone. On July 10th, 2022, while praying, the Lord gave me a message about the Antichrist. And since then, he has been showing me things in the Word. I've been studying more about the Antichrist and also studying uh, other articles and studies that other people have done as well. And so it has been very much on my mind. And then I received another message on the 25th of July, 2022, again about the Antichrist. So I have gone ahead and merged these two messages together into one message since what they are uh, talking about is the characteristics of the Antichrist and, and what will happen when he is uh, when he appears on the scene when he has been revealed so I'm going to go ahead and read that to you there will be a uh, transcript of this it will be in my blog and that link is down below so you can check it out along with the corresponding scriptures. I will have in there uh, a link that you can go to that has uh, as many scriptures as I can find concerning the Antichrist. Okay, so here we go. The Antichrist is now here to set up his kingdom. He is hiding in the shadows, do doing his evil work, his cruel bidding for his lord and master, Satan. The dominoes have been set up carefully, only to tumble by his hand. I'm going to stop there. When the Lord said the dominoes have been set up carefully in the spirit, I saw a line of dominoes standing up, and then I saw them topple over slowly, one at a time. And then I heard this. I heard one, two, three, four. They all fall one upon another, kingdom upon kingdom, now fall at his command. And if you read Daniel, Daniel 7 and 8, you're going to see when the Antichrist comes, the kingdoms will be falling, especially three kingdoms will be falling. Back to the message. For those who are looking for the obvious, they will be deceived, for it is done in the shadows and darkness, so most cannot see what is being done, though it's being done right, uh, right under their very noses. The man of perdition comes, but few will recognize him. He will come as a great deliverer of the falling nations. He will have the cure of what ails the masses. He is ready to make his appearance on the world stage. He is already known but not revealed. I want to stop there. I don't know if the Lord means he's already known in terms of his actual name of who he is, or he's already known because of his characteristics. We know what the Antichrist will look like. I don't know. Back to message. You will know when that day comes, for peace and safety will be declared around the earth. He will exalt himself as a counterfeit to me. He will claim supernatural powers and an explanation of how creation was formed. He is already bringing much destruction to the earth, for he rules quietly behind the scenes. This is the spirit of of the Antichrist at work. I'm going to stop there. Notice that this says the spirit of Antichrist is now at work. Back to message. Worldly wisdom will deceive many, but those who are walking close to me will not be deceived, but will see all clearly. The stage is being set. All is about to come forth as it is laid out in scriptures. Fulfillment of all prophecy will unfold. Every jot and tittle will happen, but not as some would think. All will rejoice at his coming. And we're talking about the Antichrist's coming. All will rejoice at his coming, for they long for the good old days again. Peace and safety will come, but then certain disasters. The, dis the trap has been laid and the victims have been caught in its web of lies. The deception will be so great that only those who are walking closely to me won't be deceived. 
The clock ticks away the minutes and seconds till I come and fight this great deceiver with the word of my mouth. I will overtake and conquer him. He will be no more and thrown into the lake of fire with his followers. All those who are left For they will have overcome the enemy, and they will now rest in peace from their labors. And that was the end about the Antichrist. Now the Lord gives us encouragement here. I am calling and tugging on men's hearts to come back to me. If they humble themselves and repent, I will hear. I will then direct them down the narrow path that leads to eternal life through me. Come to the living waters. Come to the fountain of life. Let me refresh you and cleanse you. Let me restore and revive you. Let me heal your wounds, both physically and emotionally, for I am the great healer. Let the streams of living water flow. Your Savior, Jesus. That's how it's signed. Your Savior, Jesus. And then I waited a little bit and then asked the Lord, was there anything else? And then I heard this. I heard, I will direct you. I will guide you. I will lead you where you are to go and what you are to do. Submit your life to me and let me work through you. Your life counts for me, for you are precious in my sight. I long for all to come. I love you with an everlasting love and have and have your and have given you excuse me let me say it again i love you with an everlasting love and have given my life for yours now be faithful to me and i will to you and that was the end of both of those messages brothers and sisters so i'm going to read to you matthew 8 5 18 that talks about every jot or tittle It says, For surely I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, not one jot or one tittle will by no means pass from the law until it is fulfilled. Revelation 12, excuse me, Revelation 7 through 7, Revelation 7 verse 17 says, For the Lamb in the center of the throne will be their shepherd and will guide them to springs of the water of life and God will wipe every tear from their eyes. And then concerning the Antichrist, I want to read Daniel 8, 20, 25. And like I said before, I will have a link to scriptures <clears throat> concerning the Antichrist Please go study Daniel 7 and 8 right now. All right, this is from Daniel 8, verse 25. And I'm going to end with this. And through his shrewdness, he will cause deceit to succeed by his influence. And he will magnify himself in his heart. And he will destroy many while they are at ease. He will even oppose the prince of princes but he will be broken without human agency.